And it's underway for semi-final one. So, can the Cowboys lift again? Or can the Sharks turn their fortunes round to win in finals football and to play Penrith next week for a chance in the grand final? Now Lukey on the edge of the ruck. Files up a big run made by Jason Tamalow at a storm of a second half. Cotter. He's going to be involved early in this game. McLean. The 33-year-old he's played in back in that 2017 grand final against the Cowboys. This is the last tackle. So we're underway here for the Cowboys. And now it's the Sharks' turn to come back. Well... For the Sharkies today, they've, they've actually started a lot better. Their first touch of the football in Melbourne was a disaster. Went through Kennedy's hand and over the dead ball on this time. He touches it. He gets up to play the ball. That's a solid hit there on Mulatalo there from Nane. The winger already early into the action. Hero. His dad and his uncle played in many final series before at Manly and also the Roosters. Bradley from Dummy Half gets a scoot and now finds Kennedy. That's what we want to see Braley do in this game. We want him to see him getting out of dummy half. Now Trinnell kicks it on the last down the blind side. Great kick pressure there by the Cowboys. And now Drinkwater comes back. 20 metres out from the line. If you'd like to have your say, leave it in the chat. And don't forget to participate in my polls and quizzes on the YouTube channel as well throughout this game. Holmes from dummy half. Breaks out of one. Well, he's, he was having a big one again against his former club tonight. Well, at the end of this year, he'll be heading off to the Dragons for 2025 and beyond. So the, this could be the last time in a very special jersey for him at Townsville Junior. Once to get up, here's Tamalolo, another man who's played in the grand final. Last tackle. A high kick goes up. Plenty of pressure here for Kennedy. Well, there's a couple of players at this side who did play in that 2015 grand final out there for the Cowboys. Kyle Felt and Jason Tamalolo. On the other side of the fence, only Nico Hines has played in a winning premiership. So big time football here now. He's Nicara. Pulled down that time by Lukey. Bradley out of dummy half was looking for a penalty. Didn't get on the occasion. They're going to play down this left hand side. Trudeau got a, not one of his best kicks away. Good kick pressure again by this Cowboys defence. And Kyle felt. Well, he had a wonderful game last week. A couple of tries and he made plenty of metres in his final game. There on, on his home ground up there in Townsville. That's a good run from the back from Talungi. Now McLean. He goes out the back. Clifford's going to run. Pull down that time in a free man tackle there by the Sharks. They're inside Sharks territory. Did and how. Gets it inside of Lukey. Tramples over one. Pull down by Braley. Last tackle now again for the Cowers. This time they got to drink water. Puts it up in the air. Oh, they've let a bounce here the, for the Sharks. Cowers have got it back. It's still the, sink, the last tackle. did has got it. He can't get it away, but that was dangerous there by the by the Sharks, then that ball bounce. Well, that would have given them a bit of a fright. We saw what happened early last week. They did want to get us. Now Hyde's got absolute crunch from running from dummy half. There was no organisation after after the turnover. Katoa. Well, they're going to need a little. They're going to need his half breaks tonight. He can sniff one out. The Cowboys are going to be on their guard every time he runs the football. And so is with this scam, Mulatalo. They go back to the right. Nicara comes back in the middle. They end up flying Toby Rudolph. Was a little bit ill-disciplined last week. Was a bit overwrought, I think, by the occasion. He's trying to look in. He's kicking this time with the fourth tack. He's looking for a 40-20, but he doesn't get the angle. Talangi flies it back into Scotty Drinkwater. He's so elusive and so creative at the back. They're going to have to watch it every time he has the football in his hands. Holmes. 
Well, the wit is not going to favour anyone in this first half, so it's going across the ground. There's an error made by the Cowboys here. Oh, that's a costly mistake by the youngster, Vaia. Bill Army Vaia has lost the football for the Cowboys. So it's a tremendous start here for the home side. We've had to come to the City Football Stadium tonight. Well, Fighters Football brings out the best of them. So the scrum will be 10 metres inside the Cowboys territory here. So they've got equal numbers both sides of the scrum. They come to the left with Hines. Well, Hines is just running the football at this stage. Playing very simple. That's what he's got to do tonight. He's got to play in the grind. He can't be too fancy out there. I think that's what hurt them last week. Wilton plays the ball short of the 30. They get along the wire there with a couple of fours from McInnes now. And Kafusi. he needs to stand up tonight. The big forwards just did roll on last week. They go to the ply there, the Sharks. Kennedy, now Neckera. Pull down there by Deard and also Connor to assist. Couple tackles to go down for the Sharks. McInnes out the back. Hines is going to run into game. Six metres out from the line. Last tackle for the Sharks. This is their first chance. Trindle gets it on now to Eero. He's lost the football. And Clifford's going downfield. And he's pulled down just short of his 20 metre line. So the Cowboys stood firm on their try line there. After they made that error. Well, errors are so crucial, especially in dual die clashes. You've got to have possession in your hands as Connor now takes it up. On the halfway line, seven minutes gone, no score here at the City Football Stadium. Illumination Final 1. It's the Sharks from the Shire playing the North Queensland Cowboys. Last tackle now as they go to the blind. Clifford just puts it straight up in the air. Can nearly hit the roof with that kick. And Kennedy, this time, takes it on the full. Well, he must be, he must have been, what he must be watching the game. Across the road with that take. Braley. Kennedy now. It's a bit of confusion around the play of the ball. There was nearly no dummy half there. The Cowboys really pinched it off them. Raymond now back on the angle. Shrugged out of a couple. He's so good at making breaks. And also, oh, it's a, a knock on. Oh, that's lazy from Raymond. That's, that's a mistake you don't need. Couple of sloppy errors in this game, and that's coming back from injury, Jesse Ramian. Yeah, he just put it on his knee. He just needs to take his time playing the football at the moment. Well, the Sharks like to play up tempo football, but they've got to learn to grind this game out. That's going to be the test for him tonight. Plenty of atmosphere at both the SCG and the City Football Stay tonight with two big finals clashes. But we're here for the rugby league at the moment. So the Cowboys have got the ball now. 30 metres out for the Sharks line from the scrum. And Lukey just took it upfield there. So the forwards combine on this occasion. Tabalolo. Can he continue to left off where he did against the Knights last week? Robson a dummy half. Did it. Drink water out the back to Holmes. Steps around one. Still going Holmes. Four metres out from the line. Desperate defence by Candy at fullback. Drink water. Did it. Tambalolo. Pops it out the back now to Did it. Clifford throws a dummy. And that's knocked on. Well, a bit of semi final nerves out there. They might need some value in this, both these teams at the moment. Well, they're throwing the ball around both sides. We expect this from the Cowboys. But I've got to say, the Sharks, at the moment, are hanging on. A couple of offloads there from the Cowboys in that set. The good thing there from the Sharks, they just kept their nerve there. Maybe they just got to keep their nerves when they've got the football in their hands. Maybe it's good early in the game to do a bit of tackling. So you get that focus on. That's a big shot there by Nane there on Rudolph. Down the blind of Wilton. Well, it's 
It's a good crowd in at the moment. They're going to enjoy this action tonight. Hope you enjoy it too and simply rope your league. Braley darts a dummy half. Trindle combines with Hines. Taps it on quickly to Ramian. Oh, he's, he's clutching his neck there. He, I think he's looking for a crush a tackle penalty here. Well, Clyde has called time off here. Now, he thinks he got caught in a crusher tackle here from Valentine Holmes, his former teammate. So, referee saying play on, which I think is the right decision there. We go to the last tackle. And Trindle hoists it downfield. Kyle Felt. Last week did a tremendous job of diffusing kicks. And so far tonight, he's done exactly the same. Well, as I said, the winner will play Penrith next week. Most likely it's Saturday night. The loser, you must well prepare for your end of season trip. Connor now taking it forward. Couple's metres short of halfway. Quick play of the ball. And here they go with Drinkwater driving over the advantage line. Got absolutely hammered, though, by Nikra. He probably wants to avoid him next time. Clifford. Off a standing start. Puts it downfield. And Kennedy has been wrapped up there. Just outside his 20. So, just a forcey backs game at the moment. Trying to move the ball side to side. So now Trindle gets it on. And the winger is playing more like a centre on that occasion there, Ronaldo Mulatalo. He's Bray now finding Kennedy. Well, Kennedy's been really heavily involved in the action this first 12 minutes. Here they go again through the skipper. McInnes bumps one away and he's been put down. Last tackle. He's on the 40 metre line at the Cowboys down the ground. It's not a bad kick into the corner. And they've trapped felt just... In the field of play. So this is going to be a big set here for both sides. The Cowboys really need to make the hard yards here. For the Sharks who don't want to give away a penalty. And they want to make sure on the last tackle. Or even better cause an error. That's a good run from Holmes. Guess up towards their 30 metre line. Now Drinkwater. He's going for a 40-20 here. He's one of the best exponents this year for it. Nico Hines on the other side is pretty good as well. So that's going to be a big factor tonight. Maybe kick on the third or fourth tackle. If you don't find the sideline, turn them around. Especially the big boys. They'll, they'll be tiring from it as the game goes on. He's raving with his lightning boots. Short of the halfway line. Bussing runner is Ramian. Here's Trendle. Oh, we do in open space. Well, that was a desperate tackle on the inside. Hines. Short ball to McInnes. Goes straight and hard. Last tackle now. A gun of the blind. Here's Trindle. Out the back now. Hero. Plat one. He's still got the ball alive. Trindle. Wilton. Now Hines. Flicks out the back to Wilton. Still the last. Kennedy. Trindle. Puts the kick in. Now he's tackled out the ball. This will be a penalty. Now the question will be, will this be a penalty try? We're going to go upstairs here. Is that going to be a penalty try? Well, he was the only man chasing for the football. I think at worst this could be a sit bit here against one of the Cowboys players. It's Ruben Cotter. Well, Trino puts the ball for it. He's tackled without the football. There's no question that's 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 going to be a sin bid for sure. I'd say he'll be off for 10 minutes. The question is, is it a penalty try? If it's a penalty try, he won't be sin bid. So this is a big call made by White Raymond. It's a penalty try to the Sharks. Well... Fortunately for the Cowboys, they won't lose a player, but it's a try for the Cowboys. So four points to nil. And, the, and, the, and everyone from the Shire is on their feet. The Sharks have scored first here tonight. 
Well, I came on the last tackle. They kept the ball alive. They decided to run. Era got the ball away. Then Trinder Wilton. Somehow Nico Hyde's kept the ball alive. And then they eventually found Braden Trinder again. He puts the kick throw now. Fortunately for Ruben Cotter, he won't be going the sin bin for that. I'm surprised that in rugby league they don't sit bin them as well as well give away the penalty try. Well, the, the video ref, uh, the man in the bunker, White Raven, reckoned he was first to score. So Braden Trindle gets himself the finals try. Well, it's a controversial one, but they're going to have a kick in front of the post. And Hyde will make it 6 0. Well, we remember the famous seven tackle try to Bo Ryan many years ago. That sucked the Cowboys' hearts on that occasion, but on this one, it's a fair penalty try. So, the, the Cronulla Sharks are off and running tonight. They were certainly off their game last week down there in Melbourne, but they seem more composed at the moment. The question is, can they do it for 80 minutes? Well, it's been awarded a penalty try. So the conversion was in front of the post. A big call made by young White Raymond, who hasn't done a lot of officiating in the bunker. I think it was the right call. So, how can the Cowboys respond? They're going to have to regroup now. Eero. He was one of the players that kept the ball live on the last... That's a big run for Kafuzi. Got the ball away. Braley McInnes back to Rudolph. Stands tall there like the Statue of Liberty. Quick play of the ball. There goes Braley. Great run by Blake Braley. That's what we want to see from him. Great run from Braley. We've got one more tackle. I apologise. Nick run now to Ramian. He's going to match up with Valentine Holmes tonight. Both players are very elusive. Last tackle now. Hines puts it up. It's not a bad kick from Hines. Bad at bat by the Sharks. They're flicking alive. Still going. McInnes is over. Slams it down. Right underneath the black dot. And the Sharks are out to a 10 points to nil lead. Well. It's going the Sharks way at the moment. It was the bomb that put the Cowboys under pressure there. Nico Hines comes up with a play there. Great chase here by the, by the Sharks. Great chase. Gets the ball alive. It was Mulatalo. They just kept the ball alive. And Kevin McInnes ends up slamming the ball down on the line. Right underneath the post. As a 10 points a new lead now to the Sharks. Great stuff there from Bernardo Mulatalo. It was his chase that created that try. If he didn't chase for that ball, I don't think the pressure would have been on the Cowboys there. I think it's Kyle Field who's come up with the error. Well, hopefully it's not going to be his last game of football. Because he doesn't want to go out remembering like that. He's now a conversion again from Nico. And Nico Hines makes it 12-0. So the Sharks are, are really getting on with it at the in the last couple of minutes. They just worked themselves into the game. And now they're starting to convert them into points. The yardage is starting to get is starting to become a bit easier for the Sharks in recent times. But the other thing too is their last tax options have been excellent at the moment. Braley's getting out of dummy half. He's given them those options. The forwards are standing up at the moment. That's what let them down last week. The Rudolphs and the Kafusis. And then guys like Hunt and Hazelton coming off the bench. So far it's working. Straight away, they go to Mulatal in the middle field. So this time, they don't hit up with a forward. Trying to push this big Cowboys pack around. 
Inside ball there to Kafusi. The boy from Parramatta. Plays it just inside his 40. Kenny, that pass do look forward to McInnes. Referee said it was flat. Here they go again for Dummy Afri Briley. Trindle, Wilton. Oh, he got absolutely smashed by Felt. Great tackle there by Feldy. Last tackle now. Now Trindle. Nice and high to the corner. Well, they, they enveloped him there. And Drinkwater's going to have to play it on his own 10-meter line. But once again, the kick chase. It's been excellent tonight by the Sharks. Their basics have been have been on first class at the moment. And the Cowboys are just camped down here at the moment. The northern end of the ground. They're really struggling. So, 18 minutes gone. Two tries to the Sharks. In a matter of minutes, the first one obviously scored was a penalty try to Braden Trindle and then followed up by Cameron McGuinness in the next set. So the question now for the Cowboys is how can they bounce back from this? Remembering they trailed at halftime last week to come back in the second half. That's a strong run from Mulatala from the back. He ends up 35 out from his own line, but he busted two tackles there. And now his other winger, Katoa, getting involved in the action. Hides. Nicker up. He always knows where the gap is, Nicker up. Trindle now inside of Rudolph. Well, they're making it get so much yardage in this set as well. This is a worry sign for the Cowboys. Trindle inside of Wilton. One of the hard workers of this Sharks team. He's a player that you want in your side. Last tackle here now for the Sharks. Down the blind with Trindle's kick. Wasn't one of his better kicks, but fortunately for the Sharks, the Cowboys have to play from inside their own tent. And really, I don't know the last time that the Cowboys have been inside the Sharks' half. That's been the biggest problem in this game. There's been, there's been no penalties blown. So it's just been free flowing footy. And we've already had a change on the Phil McIntyre's come on here for the Cowboys. Ironically, his junior club was a shark from Port Macquarie. So the Sharks everywhere here tonight. They're on a frenzy. Now Kennedy coming back from a kick that was on the third tackle there by the by Scotty Drinkwater. Smart play there by the Cowboys. Now they just gotta defend it. Katoa gets the ball away to Trendle. Well, some of the Sharks players are slowly getting back on side. Hero. Inside now to Rudolph. Oh, he, there was no defense in front of him. What a run from Toby Rudolph. And now a quick play of the ball. Hines gets it now to McInnes. Inside Cowboys territory. They're on the back foot here at the moment. The Cowboys. That's not a bad kick from Hines. Drinkwater. Gets it inside of Talungi. Beats one. Still going Talungi. Gets the ball away to Drinkwater. Now was he held before he got the ball? Referee says no. Oh, that pass looked forward there from Deer to Defelt. Don't think the crowd were very happy with that decision. That time from Ashley Clyde. Holmes now. Three good runs here from the Cowboys at this set. McIntyre takes it forward. Well, there's plenty of yardage in this game. Drinkwater now goes to Cotter. Short of the 30, Sharks into the ground. And now Kennedy diffuses that well. So if you'd like to have your say, leave it in the chat. We've had nearly five minutes where we've had no stoppages. Oh, that was a risky off-flow for Katal to Trindle. That was a hospital pass. Trindle was going absolutely nowhere. Mulatalo. Well, I don't know about that off -flow. Jack Williams is warming up for the side. He's about to come on for the Sharks. So both Fitzgibbon and Peyton, again, they're fresh troops out there. It's been played a fast place as Trindle was now looking for a 40-20. Down the centre of the field though, Streetwater comes back. 
up to the halfway line. So the Cowboys, for the first time, will have the ball in, in great field position here. Well, they've got the likes of Drinkwater at the back. And Dean, who just attracts defenders to him, which then opens the space out wide to like guys like Holmes and Felt. And even Nana and Luki as well, who can charge on it. Tao Lungi. In, in the middle of the field now. 25 out. Clifford. Quick hands. Street water. Bye here. Throws the biggest dub in the world and he only sucking himself. 20 minutes out from the line. Last tackle. Clifford. Up in the air. It's taken there by the Cowboys from Nana. He's so good at chasing the ball, but on this occasion, the Sharkies wrapped him up. And Tommy Hazleton, too, for the Sharks. He's going to be about to come on as well, so we're going to have a double change here. Oh, there's some Sharks players. with They're on their haunches at the moment. Jack Williams is on the field and has his first touch. Well, they need some fresh legs out there. Hazleton's the other one. He takes it, takes the next hit up, so... I think for the Sharks, they're thankful they're out there because some of these big boys are out in their feet. Katoa flicks it back to Hyde. Puts on a plan and out of Ramey and comes back on the inside. Ball down that time. By Neem is on the field now for the Cowboys. McKinnis. Pull down that time by McIntyre, Robson and Neem. Hines. Out the back. Trendle. Long counter passes a beautiful ball to Moore. Towns in a bit of space. He's got Sharks inside everywhere. Oh, they've lost the football. Six more tackles. No, but he's going to clear it up, I think, because it went backwards of a cowboy and it went forward of a shark. Oh, disappointment there. It wasn't one of the best pass from Mulatar, but there was space on the left-hand side. Beautiful cutout pass from Trindle. They had the overlap. Felt came flying in, and then Mulatar's pass on the inside. It actually came off Clifford. Who probably saved the day there because if it went straight to one of the Sharks players, I think they were going to go and to score their third consecutive try. And the Cowboys would have been in a lot of trouble. Oh, that was that's a fortunate piece of luck there for the Cowboys. They might want to go down to the crowd at the end of the game if they win this one. That could be a big moment right there. Lukey, he's been picked up and driven back. He's been driven back to, to the City Harbour Bridge with that run. Neem, submitted in that tackle. McIntyre, Bussing sort of plays down all season long when he started and he's been off the bench. Did it. Incisive run in, inside Sharks territory. Last tackle, 25 minutes gone. It's 12-0 to the Sharks. Oh, that kick's gone nice and high. Back Kenny. Obviously, he's been practicing his chest marks and overhead marks. And it's coming up trunks for him in this first half. Long ball to Trindle. So they're going to try and attack from inside their own 20 of the Sharks. Oh, that's not a good tackle. That's got to be a penalty there too. Oh, he's in absolute agony in Militalo. Oh, that was an ugly-looking tackle. Now, this could be a hit-drop penalty here. It was an ugly-looking... I think it was hurled, and then someone... I think Connor might have come in late. Oh. Oh, dear. So it wasn't a good end of the tackle. The crowd don't like it. Well, this is going to be... We'll see what the bunker thinks. Is it, he's had, he's got most of his strapping on his left knee, but it's his right knee. Well, the referee's going to let this one go, I think. So it's, a pl it's just a play of the ball. So, remember, Nick, t tomorrow night we've got the Roosters playing Manly. Also here at the City Football Stadium. So, City Football Stadium is a place to be for City Final Football this year. And the winner of that game will go on to play Melbourne next week in Melbourne which will probably be on the Friday. So, but they've got to focus on this one at the moment, the Sharks. They're going to go on to win. They've got to win this one to then play Penrith next week. Or can it be the Cowboys having to get a chartered flight
because there was no commercial flights this week, so that would have been a, been a bit of a disruption to the preparation for this game. Via with a charging run from inside his 20. Talagi. Need. Up the centre of the field. Pulled out by Braley McGuinness. The two toughest defenders in the game. Clifford now running. Well. It's a game of patience at the moment. It's gone from a bit of a a bit of a bit of flair to a bit of a game of patience at the moment. So both sides are just waiting to see who can make an error. And I've got to say, the Sharks, I personally believe they're in control at the moment. Eero making a good run. Now it's a penalty for obstruction. Now this could be a big, t this could be a good moment for the Cowboys. So he's run behind a player. The old-fashioned shepherd there against Kyle Eero. Well, it's, I think it's one of the front rowers got it, who's up in the defensive line, so causing the Cowboys to not make the tackle. So anyway, it's a penalty now to the Cowboys. Not many, not many penalties been blown in this game. Well, that's the only the second penalty. As the Cowboys charge inside the Sharks twenty, can they fight back here in the first half? Didn't. No, he's lost the football. Well, it was his try last week that sealed them into this game. In the 39th minute with that incisive run. But on this occasion, he's gone without the football. They are ready for his run. Good defence again. It was Hazleton and Blake Briley. Well, Blake Briley loves tackling. Great for dummy half. Great tackle as well. He's actually second in tackling this year. And that was a crucial tackle. So, I've got to say, the Sharks have really... Oh, there's a strip here. And Feltz end up with the ball in for the Cowboys. He's still going. Oh, this is a big play. They just pickpocketed the Sharks there. Drink water. McIntyre. They had the numbers there, but they they had to go forward because it would have been penalties for obstruction. Ten metres out from the line. Neen taking it up. They got they got numbers to the left. They got to spread it wide here, the Cowboys. Dearden. Drink water. Oh, the passes aren't sticking. Town like he's touched it, but I think that might have gone forward. It has. And it's broken down again for the Cowboys. Oh, that's um, that's great defense again by the Sharks. But poor execution for the Cowboys. Every time Deer and drink water it's in this game. You got if you've, you've always got to be on your toes, but it was that one on one steal there. They created it from the from the from the from the, from the scrub and then they went wide. And unfortunately. They just dropped the football. Well, they drop. They're just a bit frustrated at the moment. The Cowboys. They got no points on the board. Uh, they want to score points. Well, that might have been what the Sharks were waiting for. The Cowboys to crack, and they did. In the last two sets, they've had no. They've actually lost the football. So possession is so vital these games. But also where you are too. Hazelton takes it up in the in the black headband. The cult hero of the shark. Kennedy throws a dummy. Pulled down there by Connor and McIntyre. He is Trindle on the last. He puts it up. There's plenty of sharks facing through. Gone forward, I think, there by the cowboy. He's a chance. Trindle might go for his second. This time it might be a legitimate try. It is. 16 points to nil now. And the Shire has gone off again. The fireworks have gone off here in the Sydney Football Stadium. The Blue White Army 
They've got absolute berserk here. Three tries in the first half of the Sharks. Trindle had a penalty try. And now he's going to have one on his own. Again, it's come from the kick. Tremendous effort from Braden Trindle to acrobatly ac to get it down. He doesn't usually do that. Beautiful tap on here from Katoa. And then Raimi, beautiful flick pass. And Braden Trindle fly in the air to put it down. And look at him, how happy he was. He, he was there to support the crowd. In the corner there, 16 points to nil. Well, this is completely different than last week for both sides. Well, the kicking options have been absolutely on point tonight. Well, all the tries have been scored off kicks. The first one was a penalty try. The second one was from a bomb that Felt didn't take. From Hines and then Trindle, who put the ball up himself. And he ends up with the prize. Now Hines from the sideline. Hooks it around and it's right between the post. The fans are up. And it's 18 points to nil. So all those people who had the doubts about the Sharks with Trindle and Hyde to the side have been proven wrong at this stage. As McGinnis takes it forward, just short of his 40 metre line. Bradley going from Dummy Half again. Jeez, he's been so busy tonight, Blake Bradley. With all the tackle he's had to do, he's also done from Trummy Half. This is a tremendous effort tonight by Blake Bradley. There goes the bomb. Trindle again. Oh, they've just hammered Drinkwater once he caught the football. Well, they're doing a job on him tonight. They're giving the back three no room to move at this stage. And it's showing on the scoreboard. Felt now trying to get it back. Downfield for his team. Via. Well, he's had a couple of touches and the first one was a horrible error. As they go along the line from Deer in the drink water. Holmes. Talley trying to go over the top of Qatar. But he hung on grimly there. Last tackle. Oh, sloppy ball going again. McIntyre's got a kick it. That's terrible stuff for the Cowboys. Great pressure there in defence by the Sharks. As now they're going to turn defence into attack here, the Sharks. And Mulatalo will play it eight short of halfway. But that was a disaster in the last tackle there by the Cowboys. Well, that's not what you want just about five minutes before halftime. To have the Sharks back in your half. Hazelton on the inside. Dragged down there by Harrison Edwards is on the field with McIntyre. Hines. Ball in two hands decides to run. It looks like he's playing a lot freer tonight, Nico Hines. Now Williams. Last tackle now. 25 metres out. Trindle. Gets it short now to Nicara. Oh, hang on. Now, this might be a knock-on against the Cowboys. No, the referee said it's play on. Well, Nicara trying to keep the ball off, which went backwards, but there might have been a little knock-on from the Cowboys. The referee said it went back. Felt now takes it upfield. Well, they need some points here in this first half here, the Cowboys. They can't be down 80-0 at half-time. Well, we saw Penrith lead 24 nil last week and the, and the Roosters just couldn't come back from that. Last tackle is Clifford. 
Puts it up in the sky. Candy's been as safe as a bank tonight there from fullback. Now Wilton. Well, I'm happy tonight that Ashley Klein has put the whistle away in this game. We can see it's an open game of football. And the Sharks are loving it. The Cowboys just can't handle it at the moment. This expansive game by the Sharks. Hazleton. Oh, McIntyre fell awkwardly in that tackle. And he's struggling, he's struggling to get back in the defensive line. As Hines has got it now. With Trendle. Inside of Roman. He's going to have to surrender. He'll be penalised again for obstruction. Last tackle now. 35 out. Down the blind. A kick back to the open from Trindle. That's not a bad chase. Oh, they've let the ball bounce again. And Felt is not going to get back in the in the field of play. What a disaster for the Cowboys. Well, that nearly brought disappointment in their life there. Well, no one wanted to catch the football. The Sharks were happy for let the ball bounce because they want to put the pressure on the Cowboys. Drinkwater just let it just let it bounce. Fortunately, Kyle Felt was back in cover. But that could have been straight at the waiting arms of a shark, and they could have got in for four tries. Now, a short kickoff here. And Miller Tower's taken it magnificently. Well, the AFL has come to the Sydney Football Stadium. And a little bit of lip to there for Ronaldo Miller Tower as well. As he got to play the ball. Hazleton now will play at eight metres from the line. They're all set up to the right. Hines just puts it back on a platter on the inside. Hines is still on the right hand side. He's getting it now. Ramian back on the angle. Just goes across field. He's got to straighten it up here. Finally does. Held up by Robson and Neem. Here Trina with the ball again. Pops up here for the hero. There's another one. That's try number four. He was celebrating when he got off the trial of that, Ronaldo Militalo. 22 points to Nils to score. And the Sharkies fans are having a ball out there. Flags are flying everywhere. Well, they can celebrate even if they've got to come to the Sydney Football Stadium to see it. Beautiful long cutout pass to Trindle. And once again, the Cowboys made a bad decision in defence once again. It's the youngster centre, Villami Vaya, who made the bad call. And Felt came in. He didn't trust his centre. And Mulatalo had an easy passage to the line. Well, when Adam Mulatalo, he loves scoring tries too. That's 18 tries for the year. He scored 17 this season. And now he's the third top try scorer ever for the Corral Southern Show. He's gone past Steve Rogers. Steve and Matt Rogers. But a beautiful ball there from Trindle. Hero in quick hands. Draw and pass. And Militala does the rest. And he proves the angle too to make it easy for Nico Hides. Well, that's soul destroying for the Cowboys at halftime. 22 points to nil. And Nico Hines has not looked like missing. Flags up. 24 to nil. We just got a couple seconds away to half time. Four tries to nil. Braden Trudel got a penalty try first up. Cameron Innocent got the second one off a kick. And then the third one, obviously, Braden Trudel uh, actually... Braden Trindle scored another one from his own kick and they just kept the and then they got the ball back and scored a try in the corner and then Militala just scored then. So for the Cowboys, they have now got 40 minutes to decide if they want to start in the race for the NRL Premiership. Trindle surrenders in that tackle. We should have one tackle left. To the end of the first half. 24 points to zip. What a half of football there for the Sharks. Well, there's been a lot of critics against 
Nico Hines and also the, the forwards in this game. Well, so far in this first half, they've proven them wrong. At for a 24 points to nil lead for the man of the match. Can the Sharks go on with a scoring blitz here? So, 40 minutes to decide who will be in this next week's grand final qualifier. Against the Penrith Panthers, as Jack Williams runs in some hard hitting defence there. McIntyre, Edwards, and Lukey. Three Giants in the game. Bradley out of dummy. They're going to have to stop doing that, the Cowboys. Got folded in half there by Griffin. Then the boy there from Greymouth in New Zealand. Hazelton. Well, they're going to need some Jason Tamalolo runs in the second half, the Cowboys. He really lifted them last week against the Knights when they were down and out. Last tackle now is Hines. Drives it downfield here for the Sharks. Felt comes back. Will, will this be his last ever time in the Cowboys jersey? He got a wonderful send-off up there in Townsville last week. It might be a sad one tonight. Talagi gets it now. They go wider homes. The former Shark himself pulled down just short of halfway. Lukey charging forward. A young prospect of the future. Pulled down by McInnes and Williams. They pass it to the right. McIntyre gets it straight to Clifford. Drink water. Vaia. Vaia. Oh, they drag towards the sideline. Stays in the field of play. They go straight to drink water. Out the back. Robson. Playing sort of like a halfback role on this occasion. Pull down 15 metres out. Last tackle. First time in Sharks territory in the second half. Dearden gets it on the home time. will score. Holmes is in. And the former Shark. Gets the Cowboys on the board. Well, could this be the turning point? Could this be the start of the comeback? On the last tackle, the Cowboys run. Tommy did and attracted it. Britton Nicker there. Beautiful step on the inside there from the homes. Beats Kennedy. He's so sharp and fast on his feet, Valentine Hodes. Well, he, he won here at the Sharks on the wing because of his speed in that 16 grand final. And here for the Cowboys. They've got the Cowboys fans on their feet with his sharp footwork. And a chance to convert his own try. Top point scorer this year, Valentine Holmes. In the regular season. Tremendous effort there for Valentine Holmes. But again, it's his footwork here that created the try. Tom did and attracted, attracted there. Britton Nicro, which then unlinked him with Nico Hines. And Nico Hines' defense was... was Went wanting there. So, s straight down the middle of the post. So, 24 points to 6 is the scoreline. The Cowboys are on the board. And I'd say what Todd Payne's instructions would have been. We've got to score first. We can't let the we can't let the Sharks score first in this second half, or this game will be over. Let's see if the Cowboys can go on a, on a try scoring spree here. That'll be the question. Well, that's the start of it. You've got to you've got to stop the next one if you're the Sharks. Raimi missed a tackle there as well. But Tommy Deere once again has created that. Now, Britton Nicker has been put on report to for a late hit there on Tom Dearden. So, not good news for him, but I don't think he'll miss a week for that. Anyway, just the Cowboys just trudging their way back from their own 20 metre line on this occasion. They come down the left-hand side here through Lukey. Robson now gets it on to Edwards. Solid player this year is Harrison Edwards, the boy from the Bulldogs. Last tackle. Drinkwater getting into line for the kick on this one. 
Well, the Sharks are going to come out in the second half, though. But as I said before, they, they've got to not protect their lead, but they've got to sort of play a game that's going to grind the Cowboys into the ground. Katoa. I'm sure that Craig Fitzfield would have got in there and said we don't want to give them any points. Unfortunately, they've conceded six. That'll be the most I want to concede now in this game. Bradley gets it on to Jack Williams. Bounces out of a couple. Ten short of halfway. Here's Hazleton. Pulled down by Nane. So last tackled. Gets back to Trindle. who has got two tries tonight, Braden Trindle. He's been fantastic in the number six jersey tonight. With a supporting role from Nico Hines. But it's not all over yet. We've got 35 minutes left on the clock. It's 24 to 6. The Cowboys have scored the first points of the second half for a try from the former Shark and Valentine Hones. And he's kicked the goal. So it's Sharks 24, Valentine Hones 6. As there's an injury down in back play for the Cowboys. That's Vahe, who's is, is not got up yet. That's a strong run from Dean there for the Cowboys. They really needed that. McIntyre. Still going, Sam McIntyre. Last tackle. They go again through Dripwater. That's off the side of the boot. He's not happy with that. But great chase, though, by Valentine. Now, Vahe has got up in back play. So they just play from inside their 30 here. Don't forget that I've got plenty of things on my socials as well. With other videos too here on here on this YouTube channel. So please subscribe by pressing on that logo at the bottom right corner of your screen. McGinnis now to Hines. Out the back. Lovely handsome Nicara. Gets it on out of Kataw. It's an open space. He's got men on the inside. He decides to go himself. Short of the 10 meter line. Last tackle now. Hines has got the ball. Gets it straight to Braley. Gets it on down to Trendle. Out wide they go. Eero is going to be held up. Well, it's six more tackles. So they've got more time. They've got more possession here. Williams wants more pressure for Capital P here for the Cowboys. Well, this could wrap this game up possibly. Hines. Gives it to Williams. Braley. Trindle. Lovely short ball to Wilton. Gets up again. Five metres out for the line. Desperate stuff from Nane. Hines. He's going to have to take the tackle here. Bit of disorganisation from the Sharks on that occasion. Last tackle now. Braley. Dummy half. Trindle. There'll be another kick in the end goal. Phil just has to boot it dead. Well... The Sharks threw everything at them there. Lovely break on this right-hand side. They saw the overlap. It was Hyde's combining on that occasion. And a beautiful tackle. Now he's hurting back play too. And then on the last... And then Trindle here. Decided to put it through early. Now short kickoff here for the... The Cowboys. It's not come off. And Militar by getting second. Gets it to Kennedy. Now Kennedy goes to Crossfield. Throws it about two dummies. Well, he went away from his supports there, Kennedy. He was going, he was going east-west. He needed to get someone going north-south. Williams strains up the attack. Pulled down by McIntyre. The Sharks are looking for try number five. And they're first of the second half. Hazleton running underneath the post. Hines, Trindle. They've combined so well tonight. Eero. Grassing tackle from the winger. Jesus, the messy play of the ball. Trindle or Hines. Roy Hunt's come on the field for the first time. Well, he'd love to score a try there. Last tackle now here for the Sharks. Hines. Hines. Holds it up beautiful candy. Tap on from Ramian. Gets out to Katara. Katara for the line. And he's got it down. I think he has. Ashley climbed the point to the spot. That's another 
try. The Sharks are in again. Siani Katawa scores. Once again, the Sharks run the football in the last and they cause so much danger to this Cowboys defense. Hines. Valentine Holmes came rushing in. Beautiful tap off from, from Kennedy and Ramian. And then Katawa still had plenty of work to do. He went through there, drink water, Tal Lungy and also Griffin Neen. There's a couple of big boys in there. Beautiful hands from Kennedy and Ramian. And then Katawa steps back of his right boot. He had three or four defenders to go through. He, he goes through and slams the ball down. And that negates the try that the Cowboys scored earlier. 28 points to 6 is the score. But it's the two halves of the night that are having, having an absolute blinder out there for the Sharks. They've combined so well. They've gone back to basics and it's working for them tonight. And the Cowboys just can't find a way to, to close the wall there. They can't close the gaps. Well, they're going to go upstairs anyway. We're going upstairs. It's been ruled a try. They're going to make sure he's ground this football. There was no knock-on in the process. Well, that might be a knock-on into Griffin Neem. So this is going to be reverse this one. This will be no try. So it's going to be no try. They're going to reverse this one. But I can tell you that's a worrying sign for the Cowboys. Valentine Holmes made a bad decision there in defence again. Their edge defence tonight has been atrocious, the Cowboys. Whether it's pass, whether they're doing set plays or kicks, it's just not been there at the moment. They got away with that one. And they'll get a 20-minute restart too. So they'll be very, very fortunate there. As now we see Vaya recover from a bit of an earlier incident. He was hurt in back play, but I'm still not sure if he's 100% right out there. They go, they go short on this occasion now to Kui Kefu, Fino Fuyaki. Now Nene now falls up. Robson goes to dummy half. Good charge from the New South Wales number nine. Here's Drinkwater, dummy half. Oh, that pass is forward. My God, that was a gridiron pass. You put all the eggs in one basket, that's got Drinkwater. And unfortunately, they've all cracked. He went with a massive play. This pass was about five metres forward. Jeez, he really fired that one out of a cannon. Don't think Todd Payton will be happy with that. You've got to take some risk, but that was... That's ultra risk with a capital U there. Well, you've got to... You've got to maintain some pressure. Now, Kyle Felt has got off the field here. Well, this is going to be a sad end for Kyle Felt. Well, this could be it for him. It'll be a sad way if he's not out there in his final game. He's got off the field injured. The way the results are, it's 24 to 6 to the Sharks. And the way it's going at the moment, the Sharks' hoodoo could be over. They haven't won a semi final since, since 2018. As they go to the short side with Nikra. They minimise the damage there. Hides. Royce Hunt runs over a couple of players again. Inside Cowboys territory. Brown goes straight back in the middle of the field of Williams who combines with Hazelton. Short of the 30, Cowboys end of the ground. Last tackle, Trindle. Puts it up high again. That's been the order of the night so far. The ball's a mess there to Wilden inside of Royce Hunt. Now will this be awarded a try? Yes, he's pointed to the spot. And Royce Hunt might have scored this time, which was tonight on the other side of the field. 
I'm sure that White Raven will have to have a look at this one in the bunker. Make sure there wasn't a knock-on from the Sharks when the, through the contest. Now, great kick there from Braden Trendle. He put it high in the sky. Now, the question is, did it come off Mulutalo forward? A devil went off a Cowboys player forward. And then following through, Teague Wilton there got the ball on the inside to Royce Hunt, who scored. But let's just have a look. No, it's an air swing from Mulatal. He hasn't even touched it. They're going to go up anyway. I'm sure they're going to have to. So let's have a look. Let's make sure that Ronaldo Mulatal has not touched this football forward. Now, it's definitely come off a cowboy. Yeah, so they're going to say Mulatal's lost the football. So two tries have just been to 90 for the Cowboys. Royce Hunt for, must have thought he had a meet by there. But I can tell you the, I can tell you the Sharks. And they're scavenging for a victory here. They just can't knock out the final blow at the moment. That was no try. Well, so it's going to be a knock-on because it was knocked on in the field of play. So it's not a 20-minute restart this time. So it's a Cowboys feed. 10 minutes out for their own line. Well, they're just hanging at the moment, the Cowboys. They've had two disallowed tries in the second half, the Sharks. Well, Toby Rudolph's on the side. He's ready to get back on, hopefully very, very soon. Jason Tamalola will be another one. Finney Filiaki takes it up. Sad news for the Cowboys. Kyle Felt is off of a calf injury. Maybe, maybe not back tonight. So that'll be a sad ending if the Cowboys lose tonight. I had a wonderful farewell last week. It could be a sad one here. Edwards the dead and Drink Moore's in a bit of space. He's in the open spaces. He needs support. Tries to go around Kennedy. He does. Oh, angle tap. Still going drink water. Oh, big angle tap there by Kennedy. He had to make it there. They push it to the right. They're at six and seven here, the Sharks. Cliff, Clifford now. Oh, Lukey. He had to give the pass on. It's the last tackle too. Oh, they had to get it on. Drink water went to the open spaces. Oh, this was a big ankle tap by William Kennedy. He's dad to be proud of that one who used to play for the Tigers in the late in the nineties. That was a big, big tackle. By William Kennedy. That saved the day. Oh, defense wins your games in finals footy. Brown had a dummy half. Talakai's on the field. In jersey number three. He was actually gonna start, but Fitzgibbon put him back to the bench. What a handy player to have on the bench. The New South Wales representative. And Braley again has got out of dummy half. He's done so much work tonight. What a performance from Blake Braley. Hunt. On the half line, when Braley's going from dummy half, this is where the Sharks are at their best. Trindle puts it up. Now, who's gone out to the wing here? Well, Tal Lung, he's gone to the... So, it's Faye who's gone to the wing. I wonder who's gone at the right centre. Now, McIntyre's hitting it up. Bundles over Braley. Still going McIntyre. Maybe McIntyre's gone into the centres. Which is a very interesting call. Tal Lungy. Well, one thing that's dangerous about the Cowboys is when they get their arms free. That's something that the Sharks have got to be careful about. This game is not all over yet. Plenty of time left in this match. Cotter. Oh, hospital pass at Clifford and Trindle. It was right up in his space there. Last tackle. Drink water. Big kick, big chase. Oh, Katala's lost it. did has got it to try. Cotter will score. Right on left the post. And the, and the Cowboys go back to back. Well, they're coming back now. That was a big kick by the Cowboys. Great kick chase. Katar was put under so much pressure. Drink water. 
He added on a string on that one. Great pressure there from four Cowboys players. Did and there was got the crumbs inside of Ruben Cotter. And the two captains combine to go back to back for the Cowboys and reduce this margin to 24 to 10. It'll be 24 to 12 of the kick to come coming up. In favour of the Sharks. Can you can you feel a comeback on its way? Can you feel a comeback? They did it last week against the Knights. Can they do it again? Holmes, eat in front of the post. Should nail this one. It should be 24 to 12. Wow. Two disallowed tries in the second half of the Sharks. Well, one was obviously the Sierra Kato who lost the football. Renato Militao with Royce Hunt was denied because of Militao's contest. But I've got to say, in the second half, the Cowboys have taken their chances and have come up with two tries. Well, we've seen some remarkable comebacks in finals football before. 24-0 it was at the break. Well, you can always believe in this game. And for the Cowboys, that might have just increased that belief. For the Sharks, the nerves might have started to come back. As I said, the Sharks haven't won finals football for a long time. As I said, they would love to be in that grand final qualifier. Tabalo's back on the field and gets it off right away. Dead and downfield gets it to Finney Phil Yaki. That was a good passage to play by the Cowboys. Robson back to Cotter. Over the halfway. Big charge there from the Cowboys. Robson from dummy half again. Oh, he's lost the football. And the Sharks will come up with it. Well, the, those couple of tackles, the Cowboys look so dangerous around the middle of the park. Robson out of dummy half this time. But a big tackle from behind from Jack Williams and over the top was Talakai. Just didn't have a good grip of the ball there, Robson. It's been a great battle tonight between the two nines. Break by a, a possible future number nine for New South Wales and the now the current New South Wales number nine. It's been a great contest between those two. So Bill Taylor plays and they go to the blind. This is Wilton. They just cut him in half there. McIntyre's got out to the setters. Faye's gone to right wing because they felt on the sideline with a calf injury. Talakai. They're using him in the middle of the field right now. Has he lost the football there? Referee didn't see it. Rudolph. I think they've missed an error there. I think the Sharks got away with one there. Bradley to the left. Trindle. Short to Talakai. But now it's Hunt. He bounces players out of the way. Still going, Royce Hunt. Still going. Oh, he's trying to get the ball away, but there was no one there in support. Last tackle now. Trindle again with the kicking. Taps it back. Hines. Kennedy. Referee said it went forward. It's gone forward. Blood trickling out of T. Wilton. Well, let's have a look. It's gone backwards there. It's fa Oh, yeah, okay. Well, they're going to challenge this. It's fair enough call. They're going to challenge the knock-on decision. Now, It's it's been Falcon there from Wilton. And then Hines is in an offside position, I think. That's what they're saying. Oh, he's come off his hand, sorry. And then it's and then he's Falcon himself. Yeah, so it's gone forward. So this, this challenge will be unsuccessful. The Sharks, it was knocked on because it was going towards the opposition try line. Even if it doesn't touch an opposition player, what's happened is it's propelled forward. 
And then Nico Hines touches the football, which then classes a knock on. So that's disappointing there for the Sharks. Once again, the rub of the Greens not going their way in the second half. They haven't scored a point. The, the Cowboys are up 12-0 in the second half. Kyle Feltz not back tonight. He is now ruled out with a calf injury. Well, what emotion should be going through his mind at the moment? Can his teammates lift for him? Finny Fuyaki takes it up. Now, Connor. The works horse of this side. Rolled on his back there by Talakai and Royce Hunt. Two big humans in the middle of the field. The Cowboys have gone nowhere in those couple of tackles. Ashley Clyde says this is the last. Clifford just ho hoists it downfield. And it's been knocked on backwards by Kennedy, but he retrieves it very quickly. Gets back to the 30. So, a gripping game of football, at least at the moment. It's all about nerves at this stage. Maybe the Sharks might need to start attacking a little bit more. Just a little bit more slightly, but I still think they've got to go to that grind sort of football. You've got to get the Cowboys to play with a bit of risk. Now, Katoa's been hit around the mouth area. He wasn't happy with that. It's now the Sharks just trying to get inside the Cowboys' territory. Oh, this is a big run from Nicara. He gets the ball away to Braley. Kenny's got to go and retrieve it. And he's, he's back inside his own territory. An hour of play is gone. It's 24 to 12 for the Sharks. Well, four tries to two. The Cowboys have won the second half so far. Just to repeat, Kyle Felt will be out for the rest of the night with a calf injury. If the Cowboys lose, this will be his final game before he goes to the Super League. Big reshuffle on that right-hand side. I'm surprised the Cowboys haven't more attacked on that side of the field since he's been off with inexperience with McIntyre, who usually plays in the middle of the field, and Vaiu, who is a centre. Big run for Tamalolo on this occasion. He did this in the second half last week against the Knights. Nice ball from Dean Nakata. Last tackle now. They're on the 30. Did it with the kick. It's not a bad one. Referee says play on. He went up for the contest. And Gatao's going to be put down very heavily in that tackle. And once again, he's aiming at that knee. If he get this problem last week too, with a hit point issue against the Melbourne Storm. And he's landed awkwardly again. Well... I feel the momentum's just changed in this game. It's going towards the Cowboys in the second half. They've got to lift their intensity here, the Sharks. Nice hands there to Talakai. Short of the halfway. Good hands on that occasion. The Sharks in the middle of the field. Last tackle now. Trindle. Floats it up there. Oh, great tack from Villarmi Vaya. That's a good take. So much pressure, in particularly the context of this game. Well, this is going. It's crucial which experienced players can get their teams home. As I just mentioned before, we've got a couple of players that played grand finals on both sides. He's won now. Jordan McLean, who played in that Melbourne Storm 17 grand final. He's robs it out of dummy half. Gets inside Sharks territory. Put down there by the Cronulla skipper. Clifford's got a run, and he had no defence before he kicks it. Kennedy. Kennedy makes a bust downfield. Still going is William Kennedy. Goes him up to the 40 metre line. That's a tremendous run by the Sharks fullback. Eero going across field. Well, he's done a lot of run in this game, William Kennedy. Been reliable tonight as well. He made a big angle tap there earlier on Tom Deard and Earl in the second half. Quick play of the ball. Hides the sides of run. Gets it out to Nicara out wide. Nicara throws a tap. He's going straight through. Oh, good defence there from Ballantyne Hones. Quick play of the ball. Katoa now gets it on to Ramian. Gangles back in field. Fires it now to Trindle. Trindle puts a kick in. And Vaya is going to be trapped in the end goal. 
Oh, that's top class football from the Sharks. Well, if they didn't think they're going to score, we'll just trap you back in the end goal. Tudor looked up, summed up the situation perfectly. And Vier was trapped in the end goal there from chasing Eero and Ronaldo Multalo. If you like to have your say, leave in the chat. 24 points to 12. Still plenty of time left there. Look, oh, that's gone out in the fall, I think. It has. And now this is actually a penalty. So it's not it's not a play of the ball. It's a penalty. Because he's kicked it out on the full. Now it's not because of 10 metres. He's just kicked it out the full. So they're going to go for the shot for penalty goal. To give him a buffer of 14 points. So they now will have to score three. At least have to score three times. If Nico Hyde can slot this one over. Wow, what a game of rugby league this is at the moment. I have to say, it's the, the stats are getting a lot better for the Cowboys in the second half. But the thing that's killing them is the offloads and the defence as well. They've had to make more tackles in this game, the Cowboys. But the Sharks have made more errors. Well, Scott Drinkwater put a bit too much juice on that one. And he's found it out in the full... And the crowd have got up and signaled the t for the two. So they knew what they were looking for, just to wind the clock down. Nico Hines should not miss this one. It doesn't matter about, about finals footy. Every kick is difficult. Especially in the pressure moments. Hines slots that one over. So that's their first points of the second half. It's a penalty goal and a crucial one. 26 points to 12. Don't forget that tomorrow night we're going to see the City Roosters play the Maringa Seagulls here at 7.45pm live as well. Check your local guides. Which champions will stand up? Will it be Tedesco, Manu, Wira Hargreaves, Crichton, and Kiri for the Rooster side for Man will be Cherry Evans, Tom and Jake Javoyevich. Well, they've got a 14 point buffer now. The Sharks. Can they grind this game out? That's been the test for the Sharks. Rudolph's back on the park now. He gets it offload straight away to, to Blake Braley. Not sure if the offload was the right option on the zero tackle there from, from Toby. His boys from Redcliffe are playing tomorrow in the Queensland Cup Grand Final against Norths. The Canberra Raiders will play Newtown in the Grand Final qualifier in the New South Wales Cup to play Norths next week. That's a big strong run for Talca. Gets the ball away to Braley. Hides. He's full of energy there. Gets him close to halfway. The Sharks. Can they clinch this game in the next couple of sets? Rudolph. Inside the Cowboys territory. Hines goes out the back to Kennedy. Nikra. He's had a very strong game, Nikra. He's looked so dangerous. That finally held him down. Short of the 30 metre line. Last tackle. Hines. Puts it up in the air. Gets it to Katoa. Gets it back to Kennedy. He's lost the football in the tackle. And the Cowboys will come up with it's a turnover. But that's not a bad that's not a bad play from Nico Hines. At least they've turned it over five metres short of the line and not lost it in goal area. So the Cowboys are now under pressure getting out of their red zone. Oh that pass looked forward from Connor to McLean. Well, there's going to be some risky play now by the Cowboys for sure. There's a flop out the back to Robson. Now McLean. Put it down to the ground. Dearden. Holds it up now to Finny Filiaki. Big run from, from Kui Kefo. Still going. Pull down from Rome. That's a big run there from Kui Kefo. Drink water. They've got numbers out there. Clifford's going to run. Flicks it inside and Kyle Hero takes the intercept. 
Well, he had numbers to the far right. He just had to pass it. He did need a run, and now they've and now they've stripped it. Great play by Ruben Connor. That's a big play for the Cowboys. Did him. Now Holmes. Beat a defender in thin air. Well, the Sharks up by 26 to 12. The Cowboys on the attack. Drink water. Clifford. McIntyre has gone out into the centres. Because of the injury to Felt. What can the Cowboys do here? Run around for Green Connor and drink water. Dearden gets into Holmes again. He's over. Holmes has slammed it down again. 26 to 16. And the Cowboys won't lie down. And he's hobbling to the former Shark. And the former Cowboy next year as well. But he's playing for the Cowboys at the moment. Well, this was a big one-on-one -on -one steal here on Kyle Eero from Ruben Cotter. That's poor play from the youngster. He'll learn a lot from that. And then the Cowboys just shift it wide. Lovely run around with play between Cotter and Drinkwater. They just attracted some of those big boys. Kafusi and Nicker got attracted. And then they just push it out to Dearden, who's one of the best exponents of this, just attracting more defenders. And he finds Holmes in a hole. Who goes in to score and Drinkwater slots it over. Who has taken over the goal kicking duties because of the injury to Holmes. Who's hobbling out there. So 26 points to 18. They've improved in this second half, the Cowboys. The Sharks have only got the penalty goal. Well... The fans and the Sharks players will be nervous at the moment. The far north Queenslanders are coming to get them. The Cowboys flags were waving high there when that one was scored. There's, there's plenty of them that have come down to support their team. Both teams have only won one premiership. Fun enough, consecutively. 2015 was the Cowboys. 2016 was the Sharks. Fun enough, the last time these two teams played in the final, we had to go to Golden Point to, or extra time to find out. It could happen again. Connor taking it up. On that occasion, it was Holmes who kicked the field goal. Two-point field goal, in fact. Finney Fuyaki made that big run to set up that try and he made a he made a good run there again. Long ball now to Tamalolo. He doesn't offload it this time. Couple of players on the ground there for the Sharks. Robson just darts on dummy half. What a run from Robson! He's in the open space. It's a terrible pass. It's come off the knees. And Kato ends up with a football. The final pass just didn't stick for the Cowboys, but once again, there were some tied forwards in the middle of the field for the Sharks. There was players on the ground. The Sharks had to pick themselves up here. They're out on their feet at the moment. The Cowboys are coming to get them. Bulatalo. Well, they need to get some oxygen in their lungs here, the Sharks. Ramian. Last tackle now for the Sharks. Trindle's going to run. Gets out wide to Eero. Now Muatai flops it back into Eero. He flops it back now to Braley. He's got to kick it. He has to. It's the last tackle. And Dearden gets absolutely crunched there by Nikra. Well, they were trying to find Hines there on that occasion, but he wasn't there. He was on the other side of the field. Well. Oh, that was a big hit on Finney Fuyaki there. Over the top by Nicker, but it didn't connect. Tamalolo. I hope you enjoy this. This is a tight one now. 
24 0 at half time. The Sharks is now 26 18. They come to the left here. The care was, oh, he heard the player there, Holmes. The Livings has already just happened down time. He missed your opportunity. This is the last. A midfield bomb. Oh, that's got to be penalty for a disruptor. It has to be. Yes, it is. That's what they're going to call it for. It's a disruptor penalty now. I wouldn't be surprised. We're going to go upstairs for Captain's Challenge. That's where we're going. Captain's Challenge here. Now, he, now he's a big call here for Wyatt Raymond in the bunker. Now, there's a new rule called disruptor where you can't actually, well, in a way, distract a player from trying to catch the football. Sure, he's not going for the football there. It's unsuccessful. That's going to be a penalty. That's just getting your oxygen back. And after the penalty to the Sharks. So no more challenge for either side. Well, the Sharks would be so happy to get that penalty. They need something. They're running uphill at the moment. The Cowboys are running downhill. It's like the Sharks are stuck on a treadmill at the moment. And this clock is ticking too slowly for them at this stage. There's a good crowd here for this one. Plenty of Shark supporters from the Shire. Short ball out of Rudolph. Big run there from Toby. Quick play the ball. Browing darting from Toby half. McInnes now. Can the Sharks put the killer blow on this match? Hides inside of Nikra. He's done this all season with these inside runs. Still going, Britain Nikra. Gets the ball away to Kennedy. 15 metres out from the line. Well, we've got six and a half minutes to go. Hines has got the football in his hands. Flicks it out the back to Braley. Nikra, six more tackles here. It's come off a cowboy. Raymond keeps it alive. The skipper McInnes is going to go forward. There's numbers to the left if they want to use it. Here they go to the left. Trindle looking for free tries. Wrapped up by Clifford. The Sharkies fans are on their feet here. Nice interchange of play there from McInnes to Kafusi. Couple of metres out from the line. They go out the back. Hide short ball, McInnes! No! Rolling his back by Dean and looking for his second. Hines, throws a dummy. Good rushing defence there from the Cowboys. He couldn't get out wide. Out the back. Trindle puts a kick in. And Vayam gets the ball back. McIntyre. He's going to go dead. Was he tackled in the air? That's a great kick from Trindle again. Oh, he's come up with the big moments under a lot of pressure there, Braden Trindle. Big tackle from Tom Deard and two metres out on, on, the, on the, the Canal Southern skipper, McInnes. Now they're going for the short drop out, and it hasn't even gone 10 metres. Yep, so it's going to be a play of the ball for the Sharks. That's a penalty, is it? So that's not a play of the ball, it's a penalty. Oh, it's touched a player. It's touched a, it's touched a, it's touched a Cowboys player, it's a penalty. For not going the 10 metres, so... The Sharks will still get it anyway, 10 metres out. They're going for the try. Well, this could be the sealer now, Mark. Braley, Trindle... Kennedy! Big tackle by Vaye on Kennedy. Big chance here for the Sharks to get themselves to, to play Penrith next week. And maybe to put the Cowboys out of their misery. McGinnis now to inside now to Nikra. Big tackle. He's lost the ball. There's still time left for the Cowboys. 
Well, we've got just under four minutes remaining. Dearden deciding to run down the short side. They're going to try and drag him. Back towards Ramwick. But he stays at the field of play. Tao Lange. They're fighting on here, the Cowboys. As I said, they did this last week and won with two minutes to go. But they're behind by eight points on this one. McLean short now. They go wide to Lukey. Kyle Hero wrapped in ball all there. They're really suffering out Kyle Fett on the wing at the moment. They really need some speed out wide. McLean crawling his way towards the halfway. Robson now gets it on. Last tackle here for the Cowboys. A wobbly old kick for Clifford. I did a bit of a leg break in centre field. Sione Katoa comes back. Gets him up towards the 40 metre line. And there's a Cowboys player down in back play too. It's not Jason Tamil. No, it's Valentine Holmes who's down again. Time off is a problem with the knee. This could be... This could be curtains. Yeah, I think he might have just pop something. Yeah, he has. He just went straight away. No one was around. He got sniped. Oh, I hope it's not an ACL here for Jack Valentine Holmes. Oh, this could be the end of his night. Yep, yeah, he'll be off, and that will be the end, I think, of the Cowboys. Yep, yeah, he's gone. Yep, yeah, he's gone. His ACL, I think, just popped. That's a sad ending to Valentine Holmes. Days at the Cowboys, too. They've lost two of their farewell party. Two injuries tonight. Well, Kyle Felt went off with a calf injury, and I think we've now lost Valentine Holmes with maybe an ACL. Hopefully not for the Dragons. Be worried. Look on Shane Flanagan's face at the moment. Anyway, we're back to this semi-final. McInnes now to hunt. What a great run there. So it's Kafusi takes it forward. Two and a half minutes to go. They go to the blind now with Wilton. Time is on the side of the Sharks at the moment. 26 points to 18 is the score. A try will wrap this game up. No question about that. Now McInnes charging forward. Nine metres out from the line. Which way will they go? They go to the left. Hines gets it now on to Wilton. Charges for the line. Held up. Smart football there. From the Sharks. They didn't want to turn that ball over and, and concede a 20 metre restart. Seven tackles. They're going to throw everything at the now Cowboys. The kitchen sink, the dishwasher, everything. We've got 90 seconds left on the clock. They won't get two tries now, I don't think. They've just lost two strike weapons and Holmes and Felt in the second half with injuries. Now Dearden's got inside their 30. That's the error. That will seal the ball game for the Sharks. And the hoodoo will be over. The hoodoo's finally over for the Sharks. They've waited six years to win a final. They can just wind this clock down. Go through set after set and attack and defence and wrap this up. Katoa. Pull down Roy Robson. 25 out from the Cowboys line. They're in the ideal position to get another another try. The Sharks fans are on their feet here. Mulatar slowly playing the ball. Hines. Inside ball to the skipper. He's had a strong performance. Brilliant at dummy half. Gets it now to Rudolph. Charging on that football. Run right underneath the post. We're in the dying minute of this game. Hines switches it back inside of Wilton. He's just going sideways. They're just winding the clock up now. Last tackle. They know they've got this one, the Sharks. Here's Trindle. Gets it on a Nicara. He's lost the football. And now that should be a 20 metre restart. But the time will beat them. And the Sharkies will go through to play Penrith in next week's grand final qualifier. And there's a knock on. That will seal it.
That was Seal and it's all over. The hoodoo is done. The Sharks have won a final. 26 to 18. The Cowboys are gone.